Hi, this is Matt with CustomCarGrills.com. To start, I've spotted a good line in the OEM grill that'll act as a guide on where to make some cuts. Try to take notice of the mounts on the back of the frame. We'll want to retain as many of them as possible. To do the cutting, I'm using a Dremel with a cutoff wheel that's attached to the flex shaft accessory. Following along the line in the grill near the edge of the frame makes this a breeze with a steady hand. As we start to cut, the plastic is showing a fair bit of slag which we'll remove later on. Also, in addition to the mounts, the tabs along the side of the frame are equally important to keep intact by not cutting them. The center logo area on some installs can be left in, but for this specific version, it'll need to be removed. Once we cut all the way around, the outer frame lifts off with ease. Keeping the inner part of the grill may be desired if we want to make a hole for the tow hook. To start the cleanup on the outer frame, I'm simply picking off the larger portions of plastic by hand. Next, I'll use the Dremel again, equipped with a sanding drum this time. Keeping a steady hand and not gouging too deep will ensure a cleaner line for the finished product. Then, various grits of sandpaper are used by hand to level and smooth out the line. I'm starting with a 100 grit sandpaper and working down to a 400 grit. Any remaining plastic slag that appeared from sanding can usually be removed with a sharp blade. Now that the frame is cleaned up, I'll place our mesh piece on the back of it with the mesh tabs facing towards the front. If there's any lift on the left and right sides, it's because of a subtle bend in the factor grill. A very slight bend forward in the mesh may be needed around this area in order to get it fitted just right. Next, I've tied down the mesh to the frame using some cable ties as well as some soft foam. It's important not to pull the mesh and the frame apart, we just want the mesh as close to the back of the frame as possible. I ended up using about a dozen ties, though more or less can be needed depending on if the mesh or the frame is warping. Then, automotive goop is used to bond the mesh to the frame. This is a tight area to work in, so I'm using a toothpick in order to accurately place the goop where it needs to go. Good adhesive coverage is very important. The mesh and the frame need to be well bonded together before reinstallation. Once we're satisfied with the adhesive installation, it's time to cut the ties off and remove the foam. Again, it's important to get a good solid bond between the mesh and the frame. Here's the finished mesh installation on the frame. Overall, the mod only took a few hours to complete, and most of the time was spent sanding or waiting for the adhesive to cure. This specific OEM grill that we used was unpainted when we started. After a quick trip to the paint shop, we have the final version shown here. I hope you liked our installation. If you have any questions about this video or any of our others, feel free to contact me.